can't get into this. Oh God, it's been 10 days. 10 days of isolation. Except for an occasional stepping out to go get some booze in the newspaper. I've been isolated from the rest of the world. Oh God. I've got a pretty good idea how Elvis must have felt. Boy, am I a loser. What a fall guy. Shit like this don't be happening to regular folk, man. Only to guys like you. Yeah, tell me about it. And where it happened to me? In suburbia. That stuff like this that happened in, in Greenwich Village, not Rutherford, New Jersey. Oh, God, how tragic. Laura actually has the nerve to wonder why I'm always so depressed, why I'm always so negative, why I'm always so down and out. When things are going right for you, something comes along to screw it up. Why are you always so negative? Why are you always so depressed? So I got good reasons to be you long-legged woolly bitch. One of those days I want to meet Frank Cunha in the head and I want to take all the blood so that you don't fuck more. Hey, hey, Mikey! How's it going? What's up? What's up, man? Everything's all right, man. How's, How's it going, man? Not You're looking bad. good. Not too bad. Everything's all right. Everything's all right. Is that what I think it is? It sure is. Easy on the screw, heavy on the driver. It looks good. It is good. Can I get you something to drink? Then? No, nothing at all. You sure? Nothing? Nothing. No water? No. No booze? No. Diet Pepsi? No. No Diet Pepsi? I made a killing the other day at Pathmark. Got two big bottles, 49 cents. The babe behind the register had the IQ of a cactus. No, nothing at all. No. Thank you. Okay. Me, I'll just stick with the booze then. Have you seen the morning papers? Earlier this morning, there was something about it on CNN. But tell me, Mikey, what's the good word? Screwed up. Now, that's something I can relate to. What happened? We were this close to nailing him, and we lost him. That sucks. It's like you got a sixth sense or something. That's it, I've had it. I quit. For the past two years, it's been nothing but one failure after another. I'm tired. My only regret is that I let you down. You didn't let me down, Mikey. You saved my life, man. That counts for something. Well, what are you going to do about it? <sighs> Keep on trying. That's all anyone can do. Now, do the best you can. planning on smoking around me. Well, now that you mention it, I had planned on having myself a good smoke. Well, forget it. You know how smoking affects my allergies. Hmm. Things would be so much easier if only you take up smoking. Your wit just floors me, Sandy. Just put the damn thing away, huh? It's away. My, but we're touchy. I can't believe you're still thinking about him. Imagine you, going out with an aspiring film director. The guy's a loser. All he ever wanted you for was a bed warmer. That's not true! Oh, no? He hasn't called you in two weeks, has Ten he? days. All right, ten days. He's still a loser. I never liked Alfredo Lupin from day one. It doesn't matter what you say, I'm gonna go see him. What? He's in some kind of trouble. I gotta find out what's going on. Oh, sweetheart! Oh my God! God, I'm horny. Why? 
what are you doing here, dear? I wanted to find out what's going on. Going on? Yeah, going on. You're either in some kind of trouble, or you've dumped me for some other woman. There is no other woman, but I guess you are entitled to an explanation. Okay, let's hear it. Have a seat. Whatever you have to tell me, you could tell me standing up. Any help will be appreciated. Baby, I'm a werewolf. I'm a fur-growing, fang-sprouting werewolf. Can you handle that? <laughs> I think Sandy was right. Sandy is a mental defective. It all began ten days ago, Friday. That dickhead boss of mine was on my back from the word go. It may not surprise you to learn that at one point during the course of that day, I contemplated telling him to go blow himself. But having big bills to pay and the thought of going on unemployment didn't exactly uh, thrill me, so I quickly saw the light. I waited until five o'clock, at which point I shot out of there like a bullet. <laughs> the suction I left behind was, was enough to knock off your toupee. If you happen to be wearing one, that is. <laughs> the only thing that kept me going that day was knowing that I was going to see you that evening. Of course, as we both now know, it was not to be. If it wasn't for Mike Morales, I wouldn't be around today. Who's Mike Morales? Werewolf hunter extraordinaire. He was here a couple of hours ago to tell me that he was going back to L.A. He's chased a werewolf from California all the way up here. And you expect me to swallow all that? There are certain things in life that you simply cannot explain away. Werewolves are one of them. But we're not in the cycle of the full moon. Isn't that what brings them out? <laughs> A werewolf is a shapeshifter, which means he can metamorphose at will. All that stuff about the full moon is Hollywood bullshit, babe. The only way to lift this curse is to find the werewolf that bit me and kill him. I guess it isn't enough that I was born a paranoid neurotic. Now I've got a split personality and my other self is a blood-sucking werewolf. I'm not a happy man, babe. I'm not. I know this is hard for you to believe, but I've never lied to you before. Hey, where are you going? Think about it, babe. Whoa! Hello? Alfredo Lupin? Who's this? Come on, you know who this is. What's the matter, Wolf got your tongue? You son of a... It's time we met.
feel the pain. My heart is trying to do it. Oh, that
The horror had ended, and yet from my part it seemed a hollow victory. The werewolf was destroyed, and my curse lifted. The baby held captive is now a patient at one of our better homes for the mentally disturbed. Mike Morales, werewolf hunter extraordinaire, found a minor degree of success as a best-selling author of books on the supernatural, becoming something of an elderly Stephen King. But still, a question remains unanswered. My main squeeze, Laura. After she left my house that day, no one ever saw or heard from her again. Ever.